What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today is going to be story time. Let me talk to you about this 2013 Ford Fusion. Now, as you see here, we actually sold this Ford Fusion to a customer. All right, it's about uh, a month and a half ago. Okay, and when we sold it to the customer, we had a hard time trying to get the customer approved because he didn't have enough time on the job and everything, right? And then, all right, after we get that hurdle, he takes the car and his water pump starts to go out. Now, I didn't know this, but in these Ford Fusions, the turbocharged ones, if the water pump starts to go out, you have to actually adjust the timing in order you gotta adjust the timing in order to get a, uh, in order to get the water pump out, right? Because it's the timing cover and the timing shit, it's on the way, so it's like a huge fucking job. So I dealt with a headache with that. Customer kept blowing my phone up, you know, and of course it's out of my hands. I grabbed the customer's car and I got it to the shop and the shop had it for like a week because they couldn't get that water pump thing figured out. And then, uh, sorry about that. Put the seatbelt on real quick. So, anyways, we get that figured out, right? We give the lo the loaner car to a customer, and then the loaner car breaks down, which is like a complete clusterfuck, and it's a unfortunate situation all the way around. So, finally, you know, after getting the car fixed, getting it back to the customer, we're having a hard time. The next step is having a hard time getting the title. We're going on 30 plus days now and the seller cannot provide the title from the auction. So the bank that we sold the car to and the customer we sold the car to, we cannot transfer this title because we don't have it. And when you finance cars, the bank gives you 30 days to switch the title over to their names and into the bank's name. So uh, you don't, you know, so it's part of the contract. And if not, you gotta give, you, you gotta give the money back. It's called the buyback. Um, due to no title, buyback due to no title, which the same rule applies to us. We can go to the auction and return a vehicle due to no title, right? So this is what I'm doing right now. After about a month and a half of the customer having the car, he even put wheels on the car, making payments on the wheels, making payments on the car. He, uh, we have to call him and let him know, hey man, it's nothing you did, you know, wrong, whatever. We just need you to bring the car back and we gotta switch your cars, right? So. I mean, it depends on who you are. If you like the car, you're kind of screwed, but you know, he kept on telling me, oh man, I, I'm having problems with this, I'm having problems with that. So I was like, well, shit, it's your lucky day, buddy. Like, you know, you get to switch cars, man. Like you get to get out of that car. You know, if you feel like you've been putting money into it, which you haven't, you know, don't put money into it. I can't title it. And it was just, it was a huge headache, man. That's story time for later. But this is one of the real headaches from the business. This is the shit that happens. Sometimes it's not even, it's not my fault. It's not the customer's fault. It's the auction's fault. You know, it's not even the bank's fault. It's nobody's fault, but the sellers and they can provide the title. And now we don't know what's going on on their side. Probably they bought it from somebody who bought it from somebody who doesn't have the title, you know? So it's like, <sighs> welcome to the real problems of the car business. Titles are a bitch, but you gotta make sure they come in. If not, arbitrate it right away, right away. But then again, you know, if you sell the car within, oh God, so I got two more stories for later. Stay tuned. Sorry, I haven't been posting much. I've been a little bit busy, but this is what we got for today. Stay good, guys. Take care. Subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more content. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. See you on the next one.